The Beard looking to one-up his MVP runner-up season and with a new superstar partner by his side. Mission tonight for James Harden and the Rockets remain unbeaten in the preseason. Momentum, right. guys. I'm selling it. I, I want to it hard. Uh, it's TNT NBA tip-off presented by Auto Trader. Good to have you with us. TGI, the final night of the preseason. I'm Matt Weiner with these clowns on a uh, doubleheader Friday night. Grant Hill right here. A couple of Hall of Famers over here. Bozo. <laughs> and Kevin McHale, you probably already I'm know. I'm homie to clown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you probably know what we're talking about already. Yeah. Lakers, uh, Clippers later on. First up, it's the Spurs and Rockets. Uh, and in Houston, this week, Kevin became the topic of conversation thanks to a recent critique of James Harden. You had James Harden with the ball, fantastic with the ball, great passes. The guy's got phenomenal vision. Talk about vision. James can see all the passes, do everything. But James is not a leader. He tried being a leader last year, tried doing that stuff. I think Chris Paul is going to help him just kind of get back into just being able to hoop and play and stuff like that. But on every team, you have to have a voice. On every team, you have to have somebody that when they say something, people listen. You know, James like, wait, look, if James tells you, Chuck, you got to play better, do you listen to him? <laughs> like, you got to be kidding me. I lived through it. Believe me, everybody in the locker room did this. <laughs> like, you know, every time he'd mention defense, everybody would put their head down like, you got to be kidding me. He's a clown, <laughs> honestly. You know, uh, I, 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 I did anything and everything he asked me you know, to do. I try to lead this team every single day since I stepped foot here in Houston. Um, you know, but just to go on here and, and just, you know, downplay my name when, you know, honestly, he's never taught me anything, um, you know, to be a leader. But I, I've done a great job, you know, I think, in, in, you know, the organization, my, my coaches, you can ask any of those guys, um, you know, how, how I've worked extremely hard every single day to, to better, you know, obviously be a basketball player, but be a leader as well, uh, different types of leaders as well. So to go on air and downplay my name like that, <clears throat> it just uh, it shows his character. And uh, I usually don't go back and forth uh, on social media with anybody or, you know, with interviews, but, you know, it's time to stand up for myself and, and, and you know, there it is. There it is indeed. The criticism and the response from James Harden, and at the risk of extending this out even further, <laughs> your rebuttal. Uh, go ahead. It's extended out further. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, you're calling me names is not going to change my opinion as to what I saw when I was there. It's hard to have a lot of credibility if you don't play good defense. It's hard to say, let's get stops when people are looking at you saying, please stay in front of somebody. And my point was that he's a hell of a basketball player. He really is. I mean, and to James' credit, I will say this. He organizes guys in the summer. He does a lot of stuff. He does a lot of those things. What I was talking more about leadership is, Isaiah and I, you and I talked yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah. It's, a ha it's a tie game at half, okay? And you're, it's a playoff game. Or it's a, you're playing a, another team that's tough and rumble, and they're going to get after you and all of a sudden it was four minutes to go in the third you're down nine they're getting every loose ball they're getting every rebound they're doing this stuff it's not about skill at that point it's about will it's like i got to impose my will on you so what you know james at that point gets a little bit he, he that's not his personality chris paul internal get in your face go nose to nose with you say hey let's go and i think that's what you need uh, draymond green does a great job whenever you need a spark He's out there going, John, with yeah. somebody. And I say, yeah. you know how it is. Yeah. It's kind of the era we came from. And that's what I'm saying. James is a hell of a basketball player. Chris Paul will have that leadership at those times where he gets a little bit introverted, a little bit quiet. And he actually, you saw the game in the Spurs. I yeah. mean, he get to the point where he's just, he's just passive. And Chris Paul is not like that. Chris Paul's that like we were kind of more, if things go bad, let's go get them. Yeah, and there, there are different types of uh, leadership styles. And I, and I think that's what you're referring to. And, and it's, no, it's no knock on James, but Chris Paul is the, president of the Players Association. Yeah. So he has different type of voice, different type of leadership. And it's not that James isn't a, a great leader. He's not a Chris Paul kind of leader. Mm -hmm. they're, they're different kind of leaders. And on our team, on your team, you know, they're different kind. You know, ML Carr probably was a, was, a, was a leader on your team. He was a leader. Let's go punch him in the mouth. I promise you that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's change the game. But at times, I, I seriously, yeah, at you, times. You've got to have different, different ways of communicating, different ways of being. And... Uh, I, I look at what you said, you know, is a critique on his game. Uh, and also, you know, in those moments where you need that person to step up, as you said, that's not his personality. Mm -hmm. That's not a knock on him, but that's just not his personality. It may be Chris Paul's personality, right. but it's not James. That doesn't mean that they're bad players no. or they're bad people. Now, you, Bozo, and I'm homie. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're all wrong. <laughs> that's just how yeah. it goes. <laughs> Grant, when you, when you think of great players, and I'm talking about elite players, all-time great play players, does the package require leadership with ability? 
Well, I think sometimes we expect that. You expect uh, an Isaiah Thomas, the best player on the Pistons, and he's also the best leader. He's the voice. He's that guy. But it doesn't always translate that way. We talked about Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. He is the leader of the Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, uh, Clay Thompson, maybe are better basketball players and, and, and are more, you know, the, the sexier roles, if you will. But Draymond Green is that voice, is that leader. So it doesn't always translate. I think it's, it helps mm -hmm. when your best player also sets the tone uh, in terms of vocally, but also on the court. Uh, but it isn't necessarily always the case. But, you know, you know, just picking up the last point on this is that, you know, you, you see Draymond Green goes nose and nose, gets into it. Steph Curry's going nose and nose with guys. Like, like, you need that guy to be that igniter on your team. And just when things are going bad, hey, we're, you know what, I'm going to hit you first. I'm going to hit you last. I'm going to slap the ball out of your hands. I'm just going to change the rhythm of this game up because we're not playing well right now. And that's, that, that's more what I was referring to. That's Chris Paul's style a lot more than it's James. Yeah, and, and, you know, you were his coach. And, you know, when you, when you have a coach such as yourself, you know, there's critique and criticism that goes along with that to help you get better as a player. And, and part of being his coach was to identify his strengths and his weaknesses, yeah. not necessarily to say – you're, you're a bad person because you're not this, but it's like, okay, I need this from you, and, and James, you can't give me that, so I'm going to ask mm. Patrick Beverly yeah, to right. give it to me. Yeah. So that, that, that makes the team better, and too many times guys take criticism as negativity. Or but, personal. Yeah, yeah. Or personal. Yeah. But, personal. Yeah. but in order to get better and in order to grow, you have to be critiqued, and criticism comes with what we do because that, that's what makes you better. And, yeah. you know, you made him better as a basketball player. He may not agree with that, uh, but, you know, he had some good years up under you. No question. He's, yeah. he's legitimate can play. He's been runner-up for MVP twice where he easily could have won it either year. Yeah. So, I mean, the kid, the kid can play basketball. I'm just saying that, you know, that's not his personality. By the way, I was really hoping you'd come out here with the red nose. <laughs> I just, I, that's really my only disappointment from this conversation tonight is you didn't go with the giant red uh, nose. He does have enormous feet. So yeah. you got that part. I got that, that part <laughs> covered. <laughs> uh, by the way, no and Chris homie don't Paul play. tonight. Yeah, homie don't play <laughs> at all. From Houston tells us Chris Paul is clown. out tonight for the Houston Rockets. <laughs> Spurs and Rockets coming up. We'll see you at the half. Kevin Harlan, TV's Brent Berry, and Kristen Ledlow have the call from Texas.